<clears throat> okay, now we're faced with round two of the COVID-19 nonsense. I haven't made a video about this subject because um, everything about it is really screwed up. Okay, it kind of started to calm down. Uh, they almost reopened my state. Some states were reopened. Uh, a lot of restrictions were eased from... Uh, I'm in contact with people in Europe and there's an individual down in Australia that contacts me, sends me messages every now and again, just talking. Um, but we were warned that this, when the flu season comes, which is normal, it comes every damn year, the same time the elections are. Okay. So now... I guess a week or so, I haven't even been paying attention. I got so many crazy things going on. I don't watch the news anymore. Okay. So the governor, because again, and it's a numbers game, they're going by the number of positive tests, number of hospitalizations, and the number of deaths. They said that, and then a percentage of infection or something, and they want it under 5%. And I did something strange. I turned the news on today, and I have it in a couple weeks, and i seen the only thing they're talking about is the weather and the huge spike in COVID, and it's all because you went home and spent time with your family and friends on Thanksgiving and all this other stuff, and it's up to where now it's 11% infection rate, and uh, the highest numbers, Saturday and Sunday, the numbers went sky high and this and that. And uh, I'm kind of wondering how the hell people, well, and then testing and everything else, and uh, it's a disaster. But strangely enough, this disaster is coinciding with when they got to sort out the other disaster we're dealing with. The elections, which I think something next week or the week after, or this, I don't know when, and I don't know who to believe, but somehow they got to try to declare a winner, one way or the other, in a contested election, and that's coming up here soon. And right about the time they're doing this, this COVID panic hits, starts. Um, globally, what I know is my friend in Austria and a couple other people I know in Europe, uh, Italy and that, they've, they've gone into lockdown again throughout Europe, okay? Uh, my friend in Australia says they have been on lockdown, they never lifted it, so nothing's changed there. It's the same way when it all started, I guess, at least where he is. I don't know about the major cities. I'm not quite sure where he lives uh, in that country. But... Uh, so this has been imposed globally, and then we come to the United States. So I guess two weeks ago or something, my uh, governor said that, okay, we're going to start shutting down everything. Uh, masks are mandatory. You must wear them or you will be fined and cited and all this other crap um, when you go outside. Okay, so if I'm standing in my yard and I'm not wearing a mask, uh, I guess I can be fined. All right. Um, and shutting down businesses again. Well, I don't know if anyone's been arrested or fined yet. Um, and there's a conflict. These governors come on, not only in North Carolina, but also in New York State. And they said that you can't congregate for the holidays. And the governor's come on, make this decree, and then the local law enforcement, mostly sheriffs, come out and put on TV or put on YouTube. I guess YouTube's the only place you can get anything that's not censored. Um, they haven't yanked any of my videos down other than using a certain word and lies in the title, and then that got pulled. I only had one video yanked. Um, but the sheriffs are saying, hey, we're not going to do this. Spend time with your family. Enjoy the holidays. Okay? It is not our job to intimidate or bully the citizens that I am entrusted to protect. And that is the message from numerous law enforcement uh, people. Okay? 
They said just stay calm, practice, you know, safety, safe health practices, washing your hands, wearing a mask. We are not going to hunt you down in some sort of a military police state where we're going to count cars at your house and arrest you and ticket count you's coming out the door at the end of dinner and ticket the 12th person or something like that. We're not going to do that. So right there and then it tells you that half this stuff they're putting on the news is bullshit. Okay, the police aren't going to enforce this. The police have so many problems and things in society are so stressed out that they ain't got time to do this nonsense. Okay. There's mental health calls. The crime is on an upswing. Okay. And actually the one sheriff said that he's basically spending most of his time with mental health issues where the police are involved. So you got that. Plus the economic end of it, destroying the economy. This is a direct attack on the economy. Now when they said they're going to close all these businesses, I went to get a haircut two weeks ago. I go to the local little barber shop in a little town that I go to uh, and the owner was in there. I'm not closing the store, period. I ain't doing it. He goes, I did it the last time. He goes, I'm not doing it now. And basically he explained to me pretty plain and simple. I mean, in simple terms. He said, if I'm sick and I feel sick and I know I'm sick, I know how to, you know, they tell you in the instructions how to check yourself to see if you have the symptoms. He goes, I'll close the shop until I feel better. And he goes, I've known all my customers for years that come in here. And he goes, I know my customers are responsible enough people that if they were ill or thought they were ill, they would not come to the barber shop to get a haircut. Okay, he goes, it's plain, simple, common sense and dealing with people who are sane and responsible. Okay. I mean, people argue, well, you can be infected, don't. Well, whatever. But, like he said, there's no reason to shut down my shop and totally wipe out my business. A lot of places have gone out of business. And there's also the local mayor here in Greensboro got on TV and said that she was in a conundrum because now they're saying to shut down the city again, but yet she goes, finally, a lot of these businesses that were harmed during the first shutdown are starting to get back to where they might not have to close and shutting them down again will financially destroy them, okay? And a lot of places have gone under and just given up. Mostly small restaurants and stores and things like that and throughout the city. There's an awful lot of them that have closed up, okay? My veterans post has been closed since this all started and fortunately We've had a few fundraisers and that, and they're able to pay the utility bill and that so we don't lose the building. But they're saying that it doesn't look like we'll be able to open or have anything uh, until February now. Okay. So, again, institutions, private clubs are, you know, going under. But people try to get through, okay, and then this wearing a mask, okay, um, I don't know. All right. Like I said, I haven't heard of anyone getting a citation or fine for not wearing it or whatever. But it's all part of this global war. And I mean, a lot of people do put it in there. The reset of the economy. They have to bankrupt everybody to reset the money globally. It's not just the U.S. This is a global thing. Okay. And we're resisting this in the United States. Uh, to have a global economy and global government. You have to destroy the United States, get rid of the Constitution, the whole democratic system, and just get rid of it, flatten the economy, and then the whole world's going to start over again. The United States stands in the way of this as it exists. So until it is destroyed, eliminated, or radically changed where it no longer exists, a global government cannot be in place. The pandemic is a weapon in this war 
that is being used. It is one of several. There will be no planes, no nuclear bombs, no armies, no nothing, well, at least as of yet. Uh, it's just totally, when you destroy a country's economy, you destroy a country. Okay. If you can do that, you don't have to fire a single shot. Your military stays right in the barracks, and that's how it goes. But I believe that's what's going on with this um, COVID-19 crap. And there's other things. I'll make other videos discussing the other things, but uh, it really, it's not good. And there are protests. There are protests throughout the United States, throughout the world. Nobody wishes to go into another lockdown again. They, they, people are refusing to do it, period. Okay? Um, and you do not see this covered in the media. All right? Because it is thwarting the people who run everything that only want you to get the news to convince you that, you know, there is nobody against this. If you are against this or, or question this, uh, you're wrong. And that's another thing. I've seen other little news snippets, again, on the internet, they're not on TV, uh, where they're going to have foreign health officials issue a global mandate. And they're already saying that, you know, in the United States, don't care about what your laws or anything are. You do what you were told to do by the Global Health Authority and take your vaccines or lockdown or whatever. You do what you're told to do irregardless of your rights, this and that, and everything else. There have been some comments of that where it's going to be not a law or a directive from any elected official in the United States. It will be a global mandate, a law or something like that, that is globally enforced. And we must comply as citizens of the world. So this is getting, to me, it's annoying, and B, it's frightening that things are coming to this point. Um, it's no longer a joking matter, okay? So I guess the only thing you can do is hope and pray that, you know, enough people stand together uh, in this country and in the world and put an end to this stuff, okay? Because it's one of the sneakiest ways. It's not a political organization. It's not a religion. It's fear of an illness, okay, is what they're using. And from whatever little reports slip through, it's it's all it's all a scam, okay, in my opinion. And you can say no or whatever, or disagree with me, whatever the hell, but uh, it is a tool used to bring about, and like many people put in my comments, the global reset and the installation of a global government, an economy, and the destruction of the United States. Okay, so stay tuned.